and gentlemen so today we actually have a book by one of my favorite superstars Beyonce Woo. all right so this book is called shine your light and doesn't she just look like a superstar look at her so amazing Beyonce was quiet a pushing empty swing kind of quiet that's how most of the world saw her until she does look a bit lonely. Hmm, what a difference. One teacher looked closer. She can sing. Do you know she can sing? On stage, Beyonce became a different person. Dazzling, confident, bold. This was where she belonged. Seems like that teacher really saw something in her. Beyonce performed everywhere. No stage, she made her own. Beyonce had a dream. Someday she'd share her gift with the whole world, right? And if we look at these pictures, we can see she's performing on the dresser. She's performing on stage, at the hair salon, right? Even in church. She really wants the whole world to see how gifted she is. Beyonce joined a girl group. They worked hard. They shared their dreams. They had each other. Probably feels good now that she doesn't have to do this all by herself. I'm sure it could be a bit nerve wracking to get on stage all by yourself. But maybe having your friends there, that could help. They entered a contest. They lost. They learned. They worked harder. Hmm. I'm sure it sucked that they lost, but the fact that they decided even though we lost, we're still going to work hard to maybe win the next time shows that they were really persistent and determined. Beyonce's family gave it everything they had. Her mother fashioned them into stars, designing, stitching, styling. She also paid the bills. Her father aimed high, coaching, planning, publicizing. It was still Beyonce's dream, but other people decided how to make her dream come true. Beyonce paid attention. She learned. So while Beyonce's trying to make this dream come true, I'm pretty sure it felt really good to know that she has supportive parents that were willing to help her and her friends make these dreams come true. The group performed everywhere. Wherever they went, they made it the biggest show on earth. Look at them. They're performing everywhere. Again, we see Beyonce's performing in the salon along with the rest of the group. They're performing in the parking lot. They're even in a recording studio and on stage. Best friends began new adventures. They cheered each other on. Hmm. So it seems like they're about to part ways. They're no longer going to be in a group anymore. By the way, the name of this group was Destiny's Child. You should look them up. Before show, Beyonce practiced until midnight, until 1 a.m., until 2 a.m., until 3 a.m. Ooh, she was up all the way until the morning practicing. She rushed around the world show after show after show. An award, then another, then another. So it sounds like staying up super late at night into the morning and working hard at practicing actually was the reason why she won these awards. Beyonce knew how to give audiences what they wanted and more, but what did she want? Beyonce stopped. She made time to find the answer. The world was gigantic. She was just a speck, right? A speck just means she's a small thing in this huge world. Inspired, lighthearted, ready. I see Beyonce's gotten married. 
From now on, Beyonce would be in charge of her dream. She made decisions. Her no meant no. Her yes meant everyone gave 100%. She made mistakes. She learned. She grew. She paid the bills. She decided what to sing and how to sing it. So it sounds like she's kind of matured, right? She knows what she wants. She knows what she doesn't want. When Beyonce got on stage now, she was herself. She could also be anything she dreamed up. So could everyone who sang along. They could be grateful, bountiful, broken, crazy, goofy, regal, jubilant, independent, angry, forgiving, bright, healed, priceless, fierce. The world was her stage. Where could Beyonce shine the spotlight? On new artists? On women? On her hometown in trouble? On the beauty of her people? On the need for justice? Right? And when we look at this picture, we can see how many lives Beyonce is touching. Now, Beyonce finds quiet. A drown out the noise, get to know herself kind of quiet. She listens, she keeps dreaming. The end. And you want to know something? You have a light too. So, no matter what talent you have, remember to be confident. And surround yourself with people that support your dreams. No matter how big or small they may seem, never give up. The world can be your stage too. See you next time.